Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Q. We have a delivery today. Mail call if you want. Came from the burn shop, as you can see. I'm looking forward to this. You guys might be intrigued by it. Let's get to opening this up and see what's inside of it. Well, let's open this up and see what we got here. Get our knife. Cut it across that way. to be packaged nicely we got a box inside of a box must be hardware inside of that one let's give that an open up papers Bag of nuts and bolts. And we have something here. What do we got inside of here? Oh, there's one piece. Put this stuff off to the side so we don't lose it. We got our wheel over here. Package nicely. There's our wheel for spinning. I'm sure you guys must know what this is by now. If not, stay tuned and we'll see. And we have here assembly instructions for it right there inside of this box nice card from the burn shop it's also got seasoning instructions on the back in case you need to read through that and see what to do with it what do we have here we have uh, Santa Maria assembly instructions oh we got a Santa Maria attachment don't need that Stay over there. And here's our arm for it, all wrapped up nice. It's got the cable on it already and whatnot. Gear on this side over here. Let's get that off to the side, just right here for now. More packaging. More packaging. And here's our attachment, right there. Look at that. Well, let me get all this garbage cleaned up out of the way, and we'll get to assembling this. So first step is, pick our grill we're going to use. Most people use a kettle. I'm using a kettle too. We're going to use the Kamado Joe for this. First step, they say, in the instructions, is to place the grill grate, which goes in nicely. Second step is to place the base ring. The base ring's a little bit off in size, not the end of the world. This is uh, custom made to order. Once you order it, then they make it. This was going off of just a 22 inch, to be honest with you, because I wanted it for the Kettle Joe. They said they'll do what they can, which they did. And now I have to make some slight modifications, not the end of the world. I own a grinder. I will make those modifications. So I'm gonna make modifications for this. So this sits nicely in here, hopefully, and we'll go from there. I'll pick back up once I have modified this, I'll show you what I've done and we'll see how it fits. Then we'll finish putting it together. So I'll see you then. While we're back after some modifications, we are done. And here's what we got now. We started off with 22 inch diameter. We've now taken our grinder all the way around the circumference of it. We brought it down to 21 and three quarter inch. You guys probably won't have to do this because I'll be talking with the gentleman over at the burn shop, giving him some dimensions. So if you guys own a Kettle Joe and you're looking to get one of these, he'll be able to make it 
looking better than me. I'm not a metal worker by any means, but I know how to get by. So I've notched out where I need to notch out for these spots where the grill grate sits on. Now we fit in there very nice, just like so. We fit perfect in there now. Took me a little bit to get it done, but as you can see, it's done. Let's start assembling it. First thing we're gonna wanna do is put the grate in there, which we've done. Put the ring in there, base ring, which we've done, or base plate. Next, we're gonna take our square tube detachment and drop that in there. I just gotta move the charcoal basket a little bit out of the way. There we go. Up a touch. Right about there. There we go. So after you've done that, take your four bolts, which were provided, and bolt it in. Just like this. I know you guys can't see, but it's not rocket science here. I'm putting nuts and bolts together. Do this one here. I'll do this one here so you guys can see. Put your bolt, get your nut. That's it. I will be using a wrench to tighten these up once I get them in place. And you'll be using either an 11 mil or a 7 16 Yep, 11 millimeter or 7 16 I have one of these nice little adjustable wrenches and I also have a socket with a ratchet that I will be using. I'll do that off camera, I don't want to bore you guys. Everybody should know how to use a ratchet or a wrench. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll move on to the next step. So we've got all four bolts secured nicely. Now we're gonna take our eye bolts for the grate, take the nut off. And we're gonna lift the grate up a touch. Just get that nut started on there. Just like so. Same on the other side. We're going to lift the grate up again, just like the opposite side. Get the nut started on it. And there we go. It is now hanging. So now we can adjust this to sit up a little bit higher if we want. So I'm going to just leave it like that for now and we'll move on to the next step. So for the next step, you're going to take the long bolt that was provided and put that through the hole which is there on the tubing. And then from there, we're gonna put a washer, just like so. Then we're gonna put our brake on there, just like that. We're gonna take the other washer and put that on there, put our lock washer on, and then put our nut. Just like this. The bolt from the inside out. And there you have it. We have now put our brake on. We'll tighten that up using the same, an 11 mil or 7 16 I have an 11 mil on my ratchet right here, so we'll just give it a little tighten up. I'm not going too stupid tight with it right now. Oh, 
I guess I did go a little bit too tight. We'll loosen it off a touch. So we have some play in there. There we are. We've got some play. And we also lock. So beautiful. We move that out of the way. And we have freedom. All right. We'll pick back up for our final step. So everything's complete now except for our final step. Our final step is to put our crank wheel on, which is right here. Sorry for the dog barking in the background. Neighbor has the dog outside. Here we are. Now, let's set this on right here. And there we go. There's where it goes. You'll see the little notch for where the set screw sets in. Unfortunately, this was delivered without the set screw, so I'm going to have to go and source one out. Not the end of the world. I will find one. Then you'll be able to crank it, and your grate will lift or lower, depending on how you do it. So there you have it. This is the Santa Maria attachment for the Kettle Joe from the burn shop. You guys go on over there, check them out. If you guys are interested in one, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can go over there and check them out. You can also hit them up on Instagram. They're going to be willing to answer any questions you have about it and go from there. This here, somewhat of a prototype. We just got the 22 diameter, like I said earlier. I modified it now, so it does fit here. It's nice and sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It's on there. They'll be able to reproduce this once I speak with them and give them the dimensions of what modifications I had to do for it to work on this grill and you guys will be ready to go from there. Now these aren't the cheapest but hey you get what you pay for right? I bought this it wasn't given to me by any means I paid with my own money for it so if you guys are interested head on over to the burn shop check them out if you guys like this one, hit the subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.